Okay, so hundreds of people have asked me to spill the tea about the lesbian love affair between Jerry and Mel B, which led to the Spice Girls breaking up. So I'm making this video because people will not leave me alone until I do. I'm scared for my notifications and my life. So all of this is actually old news, but apparently a lot of people had no idea that A, there was a lesbian love affair, and B, that this affair is the real reason that Jerry left the Spice Girls. Now, before we get into it, I just want to give a disclaimer that I'm not outing anyone with this video. Pretty much everything that I'm talking about in this video has been shared publicly by Jerry or Mel B themselves. It's called reporting the lesbian weather. Okay. And I think if we're being honest, neither of them have ever been subtle about the fact that they're fruity or subtle about their feelings for each other. Now, have you got a good tongue on you? I hope so. You're going to be Mel B. Come it's Come good on. for licking. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You want to marry Emma and shag Mel B. here kissing each other in front of thousands of people on stage. I just, I, let's be serious. What's interesting to me is not the fact that a lesbian affair broke up the Spice Girls, but for years and years that people just assumed all of their music was heteronormative, that it was about boys and girls, but it's not. Some of their music is quite literally about this sapphic love affair between Jerry and Mel. And I just find that really fascinating because it went over people's heads for so many years. It's just a cool piece of lesbian and queer pop culture and history. Okay, so let's just jump into it. So here's the very short version. The evidence suggests that Mel B and Jerry very much started out as a friends with benefits situation, but it quickly developed into a romantic relationship. And when that relationship broke down, Jerry was so heartbroken. It resulted in her leaving the Spice Girls, not so coincidentally, around Mel B's birthday. So that's the short version. And I know what some of you are thinking, but how do we know all of this is true and you're not just sat there making up fan fiction? Well, the biggest pieces of evidence are as follows. So firstly, Mel B has actually admitted in an interview that things got physical between her and Jerry. But not like that, all of us. Did you sleep with Jerry like that? <laughs> yes. Really? She didn't elaborate too much, but she pretty much confirmed what a lot of us had been new for years. They were more than just good friends. Historians everywhere, crying and shaking. To add to this, there's also this snippet from Mel B's ex-husband, where he talks about the deep connection between Jerry and Mel B. Man, and he um, showed me that she was really close with, with, with and told me that how close she was with Jerry. Melanie and, and, and Jerry have a relationship with each other. What goes deeper than a lot of people think. It's really not hard to read between the lines of what he's saying. Because of that, look at, on it, you can see that there was a deeper thing going on there between Jerry and Melanie. Then just only be members of the group because they were really, really close. So from these two snippets alone, we already have confirmation of a deep connection which turned physical. And we're just getting started. Then we have Jerry talking about why she left the Spice Girls in her book, Just For The Record. She says the reason that she left the band was specifically because of a relationship breakdown within it. It reads, I have loved and lost, I give up. My heart is breaking. So this extract, alongside other things that she said, confirmed that her split from the group was not really to do with her not getting along with the other members, like a lot of people suggest. And there's no evidence of Jerry having any kind of serious long-term boyfriend during the Spice Girls. In fact, the person she spent the most time with was Mel B. They consistently traveled and went on a multitude of adventures with each other, just the two of them, a lot. Mel was the one she spent most of her time with. Mel is the one she had a deep connection 
connection with. Mel is the one she was holding hands with in a lesbian way. Mel was the long-term boyfriend. All the evidence points to Mel B being the one who broke her heart, Mel B being the one who she had a relationship breakdown with, and we know it wasn't just platonic. Then we have the song lyrics in Viva Forever, a song which was mostly written by Jerry in 1997, and it was the Spice Girls' last single as a full band. The lyrics in this song are about reflecting on a secret romance and do not contain any male pronouns. Feelings unfold, they will never be sold and the secrets safe with me. These lyrics are quite obviously referring to their secret romance and it being kept away from the tabloids because of course if people knew they would have absolutely sold them out and the 90s were a different time, that kind of scandal would have absolutely damaged their career. And then there's also these tweets which refer to lesbian activity in the desert. Where was the Say You'll Be There music video filmed? The desert. Who was that song written by? The girls. What was it about? Their experiences with each other. I'm just saying, these lyrics. Also, both of them have always been so openly fruity. Mel B has been very vocal about the fact that she's had relationships with women, that she likes women. And with Jerry, there's just so many moments, it's, it's hard to keep track. And Jerry's been loud. So it's not exactly some kind of reach that two sapphic women would fall in love with each other. It, it's, it's not. Also, their chemistry is, is crazy. Like, it's actually crazy. You can see sparks flying between them whenever they interact. And finally, like I said, Jerry left the Spice Girls around Melby's birthday. When Jerry left the group, it was bad. Because? Well, she left on my birthday and didn't tell anybody. This is not a coincidence. Around this period, Melby also got engaged to a guy. The same guy who dropped hints about Mel and Jerry's relationship in an interview. And I believe the engagement absolutely contributed to why Jerry was feeling so heartbroken. It's like she said, she loved and she lost. And instead of talking about her feelings, she acted out, she threw her toys out of the pram, as she puts it. And of of course, breaking up the Spice Girls on Melanie's birthday had maximum impact. She's a Leo. She knows how to do drama. And we love her. Mel B being a Gemini and Jerry being a Leo, that explains so much. So that's the gist of it. Obviously, there's a lot more little pieces here and there from over the years which very much point to this affair as well. But what I've discussed in this video are the biggest pieces of evidence for it. Will either of them ever come out and talk explicitly about what happened in detail? Probably not, but I don't think they need to. Like I said, the only things I've discussed in this video are what they've chosen to share publicly, which I think is more than enough to give a very clear picture of what happened. And like I say, it's really interesting that the Spice Girls have this whole kind of hidden sapphic history embedded in their music, and that a lesbian affair is what broke up one of the greatest girl groups of all time. Hmm, that's what happens when you fall in love with another woman. So don't do it, kids. So there you go, there's a fresh brew for you. Now please leave me alone.